Hey there! Did you know that the average American consumes approximately 11 grams of avocado per day? In this short video, I'm going to show you how eating avocados can negatively or positively affect your health. We are going to discover the surprising truth about the effect of avocado to your health. There are indeed several misconceptions about avocados that have been debunked over time. Here are a few. Avocados cause constipation. This myth is entirely false. Avocados have high amounts of dietary fiber, about 9 grams per avocado to aid digestion. Avocados turn brown because of the pit. The avocado pit may keep the bit of fruit beneath it from turning brown, but it won't do anything to protect the rest of the fruit. Add lemon juice or wrapping a cut avocado in plastic or storing it in an airtight container may control oxygen exposure and delay browning. Avocados are fattening. While avocados do contain high levels of fat compared to other fruits, the fat present in avocados is good fat, helping you lower bad cholesterol in your body. Another misconception is that you cannot freeze avocados. Contrary to this belief, you absolutely can freeze just ripe avocados, not super soft. There is no seedless avocado. Cocktail avocados are small, seedless avocados that are oblong-shaped and have a thin, glossy skin. They are about 2-3 inches long and 1 inch in diameter, and have a narrow, elongated shape similar to a baby cucumber. Cocktail avocados are also known as cukes. You should not eat avocados every day. Avocados are a superfruit. They are rife with beneficial nutrients that sustain your body. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. It is okay to eat avocado during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Eating more potassium-rich foods like avocados can help reduce the risk of gestational hypertension. There is no definitive scientific study which concludes that avocado reduce milk production and can cause damage to the mammary gland of humans. But stay on the safe side and stick to correct food amounts. When lactating livestock consume avocado leaves, they can develop mastitis and agalactia, non-infectious conditions characterized by breast inflammation and a lack of milk production. Liver damage, consumption of avocados does not lead to liver damage. According to a 2015 research study, avocados may help prevent liver damage in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Avocados are high in healthy fats and contain chemicals that can reduce and slow down liver damage. For people with sensitive stomachs and IBS, avocados can cause bloating, diarrhea, and intense pains. Avocados are high in sorbitol, a sugar alcohol, and FODMAP. A half avocado contains about 80 grams of sorbitol. Sorbitol can cause symptoms in people who are intolerant to it. However, not everyone with IBS reacts to sorbitol-rich foods. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polioles, which are short-chain carbohydrates, sugars, that the small intestine absorbs poorly. Some people experience digestive distress after eating them. FODMAPs can also cause or exacerbate other health issues like migraines, joint pain, and inflammatory skin conditions. It's also important to note that the rise in avocado consumption has had a significant impact on the environment due to their high water usage. So while avocados are healthy, their production does pose challenges. It's always good to be informed and make conscious choices about our food habits. Were you aware that eating avocado while taking some kind of medications is secretly sabotaging your health? And here's why. Warfarin under several brand names, including Coumadin. Avocados are high in vitamin K which can interfere with the effectiveness of blood thinners like warfarin. ACE inhibitors or ARBs. These are used for treating high blood pressure and heart failure. Avocados are high in potassium, and consuming them while taking these medications could lead to dangerously high levels of potassium in the blood. Metronidazole sold under the brand name Flagyl and Linizolid or Zevox. These are antibiotics used to treat bacterial infections. Avocados contain tyramine, an amino acid that can cause blood pressure to spike if taken with these medications. Avocados, when eaten in moderation, are a healthy addition to your diet. Always consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns about taking medications while eating certain type of food or drinks. The foods you eat and the medications you take could be working against each other. Food and drug interactions can occur when certain foods, drinks, or dietary supplements interfere with the way medications are absorbed metabolized, or eliminated from the body. This can cause medications to be less effective, or it can increase the risk of side effects and adverse reactions. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe for more content like this. Be a helper. There you have it. Take care of yourself and your health. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next video.